what's going on everybody so yeah sitting out here in my Jeep and I wanted to make a video today and uploaded it upload it to the uh, geek getaways channel uh, Tony's channel because he made a video a couple days ago uh, called reacting to Nintendo ruins my life ruins lives Arlo vs Alec Anderson from a Basla seal I don't even know how the fuck to pronounce this guy I don't know who he is Bob a b a s l e c e i l there you can i don't know if you can you see that i don't know how to pronounce it um and i wish to god i had gotten a chance to go on there because tony had had sent out a message asking if anybody wanted to uh go on there and, do sh and shoot the reaction with him and i didn't get it in time and he already did the video i wish i had because after watching it it really really infuriated me and I wanted to kind of do like a follow-up and just give my give my two cents here it's not gonna be long it's kind of a quick little video um, basically pretending like I was there um, just so I can so I can say what I had to say about it um, first of all I don't know what the fuck this guy's problem is like why so it both both mostly the video focused on what Arlo had to say this one guy Arlo and there's nothing wrong with him like he was he Arlo was talking about how he uh was not really into making YouTube videos because he's been dealing with a lot of anxiety and insomnia and for some reason this a uh, bass Lucille douchebag uh was trying to present an argument saying that it's not real there is he doesn't have anxiety it's because he's playing video games or he's doing drugs or or the the um, the medication that he's taking for anxiety is causing him to have um, insomnia. And Tony did a good job uh, showing how it's complete bullshit. What uh, what the argument the guy was trying to make, but it, it upset me because first of all, especially as us men, it's hard for us to come out a lot of times and admit when we're having problems. A lot of men keep this shit bottled up and, and silenced because. Pretty much the way that we, we've grown up, other guys would be like, eh, you don't want to talk about that. You don't talk about your feelings. Don't talk about that shit, you know? Like, you just suck it up, man up, deal with it. You know, that's how we treat each other. And in a lot of ways, that can be a good thing because it keeps us tough. It keeps us um, keeps us from being weak. But in other ways, it can also be a bad thing. Uh, if, if somebody's really actually having problems, because these things do exist, and the guy... A bat, we're just going to call him Douchebag, because I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Douchebag was trying to make it sound like that um, there is no such thing as chemical imbalances. There is no such thing as anxiety and, and depression and shit like that. And I, as somebody, this, I have dealt with anxiety and depression a, a lot in my life. I've dealt with uh, definite chemical imbalance, um, and I've... Uh, it, it's obvious. It's super obvious to me. Like things like, and, and and I've had to take medication to help me uh, deal with with problems like that. And it's just, it's really infuriating to in this day and age for somebody to come out and basically say that whatever somebody's saying when when they're saying they have problems and they're saying they have anxiety and you're telling them that they're full of shit. It's just it pisses me off because. It's already hard enough for men to come out and admit this shit. And when men do come out and admit it, you should be celebrated. It should be, it should be looked at as courageous. It shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't be laughed at. You shouldn't be like, um, told that you're wrong or that you're lying or trying to be whatever. And it's just, a, just, a, just a load of shit. And it really got me upset. And he was also trying to blame, saying that like video games are the cause of this. And you know, I was trying to think about times in my life when I have been feeling depressed, how video games have helped me in a lot of ways to feel better, to feel, to feel good. I mean, it's brought, it's given you when you, maybe you have some anxiety and you don't know what you're going to talk about or, or struggle to talk with other people. Video games give you something like a common ground between people, something you can talk about, like talk about like a new game that you're playing or what you're something you're excited about. And just in just the video game itself, can be really, really helpful. Now, there's a, there's a fine line between too much gaming and, you know, uh, just having in gaming to feel better or to have something to do or, or just because you enjoy gaming. Like, if you're gaming all the time and there's an addiction, yeah, that can be a problem if it's taking you away from your real life and, and your family and your friends and you're not 
getting out there and, and living your life and you're only focusing on gaming. Yes, that's a problem. But gaming itself can be a great escape. It can be something that is 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 fun to do, brings you posit positivity because you're, you're getting lost in this world or you're, you're accomplishing something. And it's really no different from other forms of escapism like um, watching a movie or, or reading a book even. I mean, sure, people are going to say that reading a book is... is, is uh, it's way better for you than playing a video games. And, you know, I'm not going to make that argument, but I could see that maybe being for, um, like a work of fit, like a, like a, a classical work of fiction because you're learning, you're learning about history or reading nonfiction. But if you're just reading some random bullshit that some publisher just put out this year, that's like fiction. I don't really see how that's any different than playing a video game. Uh, it's still like escapism. You're still getting lost in this world. It's you, you're still, you're still not, you're not interacting with people. You're, you're in your mind. You're doing your own thing. You're either reading or you're playing a game. I mean, or you're watching a movie. I mean, it's in, in my book, that's all really the same thing. I mean, obviously, like I said, if you're reading like Hemingway or something, reading some old uh, classics, yeah, that's different. But like just brand new literature that's made by some random fucking author, that's no different than uh, just playing a video game. So it just kind of pissed me off. And I wanted to throw my two cents in there um, because video games can be a great thing for you to help if you're dealing with depression. It, it, it can bring you positive things. And as long as you're doing other things as well, like exercise and, and eating healthy, and there's nothing wrong with playing video games. And I just wanted to say that because it, it really was, it was really pissing me off. And I don't think that it's cool for that guy to, to say that shit, like douchebag. I don't think it was cool for douchebag to be talking like that. Like, he can go fuck off as far as I'm concerned. Because I, I don't play around when it comes to uh, mental health or somebody trying to be outspoken about how they feel. Or saying that they've had to take medication and, and they're working on it. And just being open and honest about themselves. Like, fuck you for doubting that. Fuck you, douchebag, for even trying to make it seem like that it's not real like you don't even know what you're talking about you have no fucking clue so whoever you are basla basla seal idiot keep your mouth shut and uh talk about whatever the fuck it is you talk about don't talk about other people like that i don't even know who the fuck you are i don't watch your videos just uh yeah whatever and tony said if you got a problem you watch this come on to the live stream tomorrow night saturday night we'll be there we'll talk about it don't be so chicken if you're gonna say these things come by and let's talk later.